So following on from the previous video, we got to um, we got to this stage. We got to um, we got to this stage here. We got to this stage here. So now uh, now you've got one block multiplying another block plus this block multiplying this block. Well, this block here is of this form. So we uh, we can make use of this. We can put this into here, and then uh, this block here is of is of this form. So we can uh, we can replace this. We can put this into here. So uh, so so you've got your you've got your minus a quarter here, minus a quarter, and then this block here. Well, put this into here. That will then give you this. Remember our uh, R X here. This is R X here. So when you when you put it. Hang on, let me. Uh, uh. So, so this block here will then become will then become this block here, and then you've got your your one over eight, one over eight. The, the reason why this block becomes this is because uh, because this is your x here. So, uh, so this is your x here. So that means that means you put this into here. So it's really your your bubble here to the power of n. So it's really your your bubble here to the power of n. It's really your bubble here to the power of n. So it's really your bubble here to the power of n, and the same goes over over here as well. This is your bubble. This is your bubble here to the power of n. So this is this is your bubble here to the power of n. So uh, so that from so from here that will then take us to here. So now it's just a matter of tidying things up. So um, so so here you've got um, you've got a over b to the power of n. That's the same as a n over b n. But move this b n. Move this BN across here, so uh, so so that will then so 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 you've got two to the power of this, and then this thing to the power of n. Move this two n over here, so that will then take that will then move over to here, and then now you've got what's on, you've got the numerator to be this, and then uh, do the same over here, over here. Um, so here you've got um, x minus three to the power of n over four to the power of n. But move the n over over here somewhere. So move the n, uh, move four to the power of n over here. So now, uh, so from here that will then take you to here. So now let me think. What next? So um, so now you can push this into here. So uh, so push this into here. So you, so so it's going to be uh, the numerator times the numerator. So this numerator here is this. This remains the same. And then visualize the four as being two, uh, two, two squared. Visualize the four as being two squared. That's this two squared here. Two to the power of n, two to the power of n. This remains the same. Okay, so now, now looking at this one here, uh, push, push this into here. So, um, so, so visualize, visualize the eight as eight to the, sorry, visualize eight as, uh, two to the power of three. So visualize eight. As two to the power of three, and then visualize this as being well four to the power of n is two times two to the power of n. Um, so so that's really the same as if you want to, you can think of it like this. But the, the the point is this thing here will then become this. Okay, so hang on. So now let me think. So now uh, now you can simplify, you can merge these two together. That will then give you this. And then, uh, and then you can, you can merge these same base, same base, so it would be n plus one. And then, uh, over here, over here, you, you, uh, hang on, let me think. So, so looking at this here, you can imagine this as being two to the power of n times two to the power of n. So that's, um, that's the same as, that's the same as two to the power of two n. Uh, and then you've got this, this times two to the power of three. Same base. Same base, so now you can simply get this plus this. So you've got two n plus three. So um, so merging this whole thing here will then give you this. And then now uh, now now every if you look at this, this is very similar to this in that uh, you're summing from zero to infinity, zero to infinity. They're they're moving to infinity um, at the same what well, they're they're moving to infinity on par. So you can actually merge merge the two together. You can actually merge. You can actually merge these two together. So that will then be this, and then you've got your your um, your x minus three to the power of n. So think about it. From here, you can actually move uh, to here. Okay. So now, um, 
now now let me think um, now we want to merge these two fractions together so we in order for that for you to merge them together you, you need the uh, the two denominators to be the same so the way you would do that would be to times top and bottom by the same thing times top and bottom by 2 to the power n plus 1 and then times the top by 2 to the power n plus 1 now now when you get this times this it will give you this uh, and then and then you've got your 2 to the power of n plus 1 2 to the power of n plus 1 and this stays the same this stays the same uh, so so that this whole fraction here will become this so so when you times sum and bottom by 2 to the power of n plus 1 2 to the power of n plus 1 this whole thing here will become this leave this fraction the same the good thing is that now the two denominators are the same so you can just merge a fraction um, you can just merge the, the two the two so that, that will then give you this because um, because you, you can actually you can actually factor out negative one to the power of n plus one so so if you get this times this that will then give you that will then give you this and then and then if you get this times this well you you um, the, the 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 point here is that this thing here can be uh, can be re you can merge the two together that will then give you this because you can imagine this negative one as being as being uh, as being you, know, you can imagine this negative one as being uh, plus negative one to the power of one so now if you get um, if you get this times this that will then give you that will then give you this and then uh, and then if you get um, if you get if you get this times this so same base same base and then you will have you will add these two together so that will be negative one uh, uh, n plus two well negative one to the power of n plus two is the same as negative one um, negative one to the power of n because this thing here you, it, you're timesing it negative one by itself so 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 um, you, you see this is the same as this which is the same as uh, n plus four uh, which is the same as negative one to the power of n plus six. They're all the same. You, so you can you can simplify this to this if you want to. The point here is that um, the point here is that this can be uh, can be rewritten as this. So you, you can actually merge the two fractions. Okay. So so your whole series. Hang on, let me think. So um, so your whole series can be re can be written as this. So this is your your whole series. Now we need to check the uh, the uh, the interval of convergence, which we will do in the next video. So this here is your final answer. Okay.